is going on everybody? My name is Star Lord. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a really good start to my day. I hope that you guys are too. And today we actually have some more superhero training simulator videos. I'm actually going to be showing you guys a very easy guide on how to actually level up the quickest way on every possible trait in this game. Now guys, before we do actually get into the video, we are now at around about 300,000 subscribers, something like that, 320,000 subscribers. If you're not already subscribed to Star Lord, feel free to click subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that you never miss a video, and also make sure to keep on checking on my channel because I am gonna be doing a huge Robux giveaway sometime very soon. You're not gonna to wanna to miss out on it. You can actually earn some free Robux all, of course, from me. So feel free to click subscribe, turn on that bell, and also like today's video if you do end up enjoying it. But without further ado, let's get into actually talking about this game and how to actually level up really, really quick so that you can actually get in and start killing loads of peeps. Like, I am seriously really good at this game. I am like one of the most powerful people in every single lobby that I go to. It's like I kill everybody. It's it's insane. And uh, here today we actually have a couple of subscribers in here. Propeller. This dude just met me. He's a pretty cool guy. We also got this guy right here. Jungle Game. And uh, we also have a couple other people who are really nice too. Shoe X Kill. And uh, there's even somebody. This dude right here. Ninja Doggy. Ninja Doggy is wearing like my old t-shirts that I actually made on Roblox. So that's actually pretty cool. I should actually make these brand new ones so that everyone can get them, right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, so what we're actually going to do is I'm going to tell you guys how to actually level up all of these traits right here, starting with the one at the very top. Some of these things you may know, some of these things you may not know. It just depends. I mean, sometimes, you know, everybody knows, sometimes nobody knows, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's worth me actually doing a video like this. So, the first thing we're going to do is fish strength. So, of course, I don't know if any of you guys know, but when you actually click one right here to uh, get fish strength, you can actually see right here, I get 64 fish strength every time I click my actual mouse itself. But, if we actually go over to this rock right here, it's the only rock that's located right next to this dude right here, Sath. If you just kind of go here to this rock, you will notice if you punch the rock, you will actually get bub double, bubble, double uh, the amount of what you actually get when you're doing it in midair. So this uh, can actually increase your fish strength right here, right here. It's it's literally so simple. It is so simple. All you have to do is just keep on hitting it. It's, it's that simple, guys. Um, but other than that, you can actually go and fly to the top of this kind of tornado thingy right here to actually go and punch a crystal. This is a secret crystal that not many people actually know about. When I go into games, I still see people who are able to fly punching this rock right here and I'm like, dude, what are you doing? There's a freaking crystal up there. So guys, if you've actually unlocked the ability to fly, what we're going to do is fly all the way over to the tornado itself. And we're going to go right the way up above this big cloud right here. And you will see once on top of here, there is a crystal right here for you to punch. And if you guys actually check, so on that rock, I was getting, I think, 640 points. We'll check this out. You hit it, you get 6,400, 6,400 fish strength just from this crystal right here that not even many people know about. Like, I'm being serious, genuinely, not many people know about this. So it's absolutely insane. Now, I'm also going to show you guys how you can actually get free skulls in this game too. So these little skulls, the bottom right, that you actually use to upgrade these things. Like, I'm going to show you guys how you can get lots so that you can actually go and upgrade all of these very, very quickly, very fast, and very easily. Uh, but other than that, though, we're going to move on to body toughness now. So I don't know if you guys know, but when we actually start off the game, the only way to get body toughness was to actually do push-ups. Yeah, that's right. So you click number two down here, or click two on your keyboard, and you just keep on left clicking. Now, that would actually get you 64 plus body toughness, which is, you know, that's okay, but... There's a way you can actually get more, and that is by following me across this bridge right here. So we're going to kind of follow on. We're going to go through the bridge. We're going to head towards the docks at the city port, and also we're going to go inside this little house right here. Now, I know a lot of people actually know about this one. This is the one that most people do know about, but still, for those of you guys who are probably new at the game, I actually want to show you because I don't want anybody to be left behind on this. I want everybody to know exactly how to level up the quickest ways. 
So as you can see, we're actually inside this place right now and there's actually an ice bath here that requires you to have 100 plus body toughness. And if we go inside it, you will actually see just standing inside of it, you will get 320 body toughness from this little ice bath. That is a lot of body toughness just for standing here AFK. And whilst you're actually doing that, you can also do like your psychic at the same time. So you're getting psychic and the actual uh, kind of uh, body toughness at the exact same time. So it's like, you're not only just getting one thing, you're getting like two, you know? So it's actually pretty cool. Now, once you've actually got a lot more body toughness, uh, over 10,000 to be exact, you can actually then go into this kind of lava pit, this fire pit right here, that will also give you 640 body toughness. That's already like adding an extra zero on top of that. It's it's absolutely insane. It's literally giving you so much body toughness. But it doesn't just stop there. Some people actually forget about this, but if we fly all the way over to this kind of mountain over here, you actually see this kind of like kind of like a icy mountain or whatever it is. If we just kind of fly inside of it, you will actually see there's an other uh, ice bath which requires you to have over a hundred thousand body toughness that will give you one thousand two hundred and eighty body toughness when you're actually training this and again like i said you can use the whole kind of a uh, psychic power thing and as you can see i'm getting 640 psychic power whilst also getting 1280 body toughness on my actual character but again there's actually another way to upgrade that by going back over to this whirlpool like a kind of what, what do you call it a tornado that's it it's a tornado and see this little area right here by this mountain kind of thing if we just go over to it you'll actually see that there's another body toughness thing here that requires you to have over a million body toughness to actually go in here without dying and you will earn yourself 3,000 200 body toughness just sitting here doing nothing now body toughness is actually how you survive when people attack you that is the thing that makes you survive obviously it kind of makes your health get like a little bit more stronger so this is like the best place right here to uh, get your body toughness until you actually start earning a poop load more and if we just kind of fly over to this mountain over here, you will notice that there is a volcano that requires you to have over 10 million body toughness to you, for you to survive in here. And uh, this will actually give you 6,400 6, body toughness whilst you're actually sitting inside of it. Now, I can survive this for a little while, but my body toughness isn't yet really there. I think I've got, let's see, how much body toughness? I have got... 14 million body toughness the minute I hit 20 million body toughness um, I will then be able to survive this Constantly without dying. So that's actually pretty darn cool Now we're also going to be moving on to another body trait Which is movement speed now the only way to really upgrade your movement speed right now is a really poopy way to do it To be honest, but as you can see running around just normal I get 8 plus movement speed when I'm actually running up and down, but there is a way to increase this and that is by clicking this little kind of weight right here on number four We're gonna click that and then we're also going to add a hundred tons to our character And if we do that and just press sh uh, Control once you will actually notice that I start to run really slow but whilst I'm running I'm getting 160 movement speed every single second that I am moving and that doesn't sound like that much But honestly guys if you just kind of take uh, like a look at how quick I fly wait there I think I even click I, I, I think I I fly quicker than this like look how, uh, how fast I, uh, I fly on this game like that is a lot of a uh, flying speed right there and that is how I pretty much increased it because I know a lot of people have been asking like how do I fly so quick in this game and that is pretty much how I did it I basically just did my movement speed uh, really really like for a long time and my movement speed as it stands right now is only 43,000 in this game so it's actually not that high at all so it's actually very easily uh, very easy sorry to get your movement speed up in this game just simply click on that add 100 tons to your character go off that again and then press control once and then you're going to be able to run so it's pretty much simple now, we're going to move on to the next thing, which is Jump Force, and a lot of people have also been very confused about this, because when you first start the game, it doesn't really give you a proper explanation on how to actually level up your jump, because the minute that you actually start trying to do it, like, you jump, but 
as you can see, you don't really get that much jump force. As you can see, I'm only getting eight jump force right now, which is really, really terrible. But if we go back to this little weight thing right here, click on that, add 100 tons to ourselves and start jumping, you will see that I actually get 160 jump force when I'm actually jumping, which is absolutely insane. Now, there was a really easy way to glitch your jump force at the start of this game, uh, but I would say the best thing to do, guys, is if you have a keyboard and mouse, basically what you want to do is go to somewhere like underneath... Wait, okay, wait, 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 there you go. You want to go to somewhere like this, where there's a little tiny kind of... Uh, I guess there's like something above your head, and you just want to keep holding space. And there you go. You will just constantly keep on getting jump force. You can even leave like something on your space bar as you go AFK so that you can actually keep on getting jump force while you go downstairs. Have your tea, have your dinner, whatever you're doing. Take the dog for a walk. I don't know, clean up its poopy mess. You can literally just keep you holding space bar and you will constantly be getting 160 jump force every single second just sitting here. That's all you have to do. It's simply... That simple. Simply that simple? Yeah, whatever. We're going with it. It's okay. Now, on top of this, guys, we're also going to be showing you guys how to get psychic power. And unfortunately, there's not really a great way on how to get your psychic power up at the minute. Which is really, really poopy, to be honest. But, what you want to do is... You guys know that when you sit down and click number 3 here, you will actually gain psychic power, right? But, if you didn't already know, what you can actually do is you can double jump. Like so... Start flying, and when you actually use your psychic power, it times is it by 10. So as you can see, right now, I'm getting 640 psychic power doing nothing. I'm sitting here literally doing nothing. So again, I could literally go do my psychic power thing, go all the way over to this tornado. I could sit here all game whilst getting 3,200 body toughness, while also getting 640 psychic power every single second. And that is actually how my friend Roboslot Gaming made it onto the leaderboards over here. Like, he is actually always... I think he's in the top 20 now. Let me see. Okay, he's not in the top 20 here, so he's actually fell down a little tiny bit. Or maybe I've just went past his name. I think, I think I've went past his name. I'm not too sure. There is. Wait there. Robosoft Gaming. So he's 14th right there. And then also, I believe he's 17th right there. And he's also 18th right there. This is pretty much how he leveled up and got onto the leaderboard. So everybody could actually see his name. And to be honest, I'm not actually that far behind him. I'm nearly on these leaderboards. So that's actually pretty darn cool. Uh, but anyway, guys... I would like to say thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it and that you actually found out something new that you didn't already know about. If you do want me to make more videos on this or on any kind of Roblox game, then please remember to comment down below what your favorite Roblox games are at the minute. And I will try my best to start checking them out and doing some videos on them. Other than that, guys, do not forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and become a part of the Star Squad. And until next time, I'm Star Lord. See ya!